Hello fellow YouTubers, today I'll be going over both of my homemade compressors that I use for filling my air rifle. The first one I'll be going over, this is the one you see in front of you, it is built out of a uh, dehumidifier actually, obviously all the dehumidifier parts are gone, leaving just the compressor here. I'll go over it real quick for you, it's really simple, nothing to it really. First of all it's just the uh, compressor pump itself which is the black piece there then the silver piece is a capacitor it's actually a start capacitor the fitting there is a quarter inch compression fitting uh, instead of trying to solder a solid hose or anything onto the copper uh, compression fittings are good for tons of PSI probably way more than this thing can make uh, so what it is it's just a brass compression fitting to a brake line here. This black piece is actually a brake line uh, and it's made out of some kind of plastic. It's actually burst rated at 1800 PSI which once again is higher than I'm sure this pump can even make. Then we've got a couple fittings down here. One of them is just a ball valve so I can shut off the air going back into the compressor. Second one is a 600 PSI pressure gauge. Then we've got a standard quick disconnect fitting for like an air compressor and that goes to my 3000 PSI pressure rated uh, paintball line actually and then that goes over to a eighth inch NPT fitting that actually fits onto the gun itself. Um, this fitting is one of the ones that automatically closes. So there's that and then over here is just a foot activated switch so I can turn the compressor on and off remotely with my foot. Uh, I'll be going over the next one, my bigger compressor, in just a second here. Uh, one more thing about this compressor is the AC compressors and the refrigerant compressor are ex like way more powerful than fridge compressors I've found. Uh, not only do they put off more CFM but they also can pump up to a higher pressure rating. So far I've had this one up to 500 PSI, I'm not sure how high it will go, I haven't maxed it out, but 500 PSI is the highest I've had this one. The other one, which I'll show you in just a minute here, uh, maxes out at 390 PSI, uh, and they're, they're both about the same quickness, uh, but I'll describe that here in just a minute. And here's the setup for my other compressor. This is what I'd consider my main compressor. It's usually stationary. The other one's a lot more portable. If I bring it to like work or something where I sometimes shoot then I can bring that one along. Um, like I said before these both fill at about the same CFM although these ones are in series with each other um, but I'll go over the specifics of this one. This one is using two fridge compressors they were salvaged off of some units at the local dump um, they're two different compressors, but they both flow about the same CFM and air pressure. As you can see, I ended up just soldering uh, it's silver bearing solder. I soldered a copper pipe onto the outlets of each. Uh, so they both, like I said, they're both in uh, series here. So, um, But they both output into a single tube, which goes to a couple of fittings. Once again, I'm using a compression quarter inch NPT compression fitting uh, which goes to that brake line I was describing earlier here. Um, I also have a dump valve, it's just a ball valve that's manually controlled to dump any excess pressure I have in there if I don't want it. Um, this one also has a storage reservoir which is a old CO2 tank rated at 1800 PSI. Once again I have a shutoff valve there. If I need it for whatever reason. Uh, sorry it's so dark in here but that is a 300 PSI gauge. Like I said this this compressor maxes out at 390 PSI. Then once again I have a quick disconnect fitting uh, which is standard air compressor fitting that goes to my paintball ASA line, that black one in the previous uh, clip I showed. And then of course the tank also has a shutoff valve so lots of areas I can shut off here depending on what I want to do. Um, the tank right now is at about 350 PSI I have in there so what I'll sometimes do is I'll shut off this valve this ball valve here 
and then I can open up the black valve on top of the tank and then output pressure right to my gun and that way it doesn't go back into the outlet of the compressor. Not that it necessarily hurts it, but just something that I thought of that I'd do. So anyway, uh, that's a dark overview of my compressors that I have. Oh, I should also mention that I use the compressor fan just to kind of blow some air past these two and cool them down. Uh, honestly, even filling this this large CO2 tank, it doesn't. They don't even get that warm. So, uh, so far I haven't really even needed to use the fan, although it is constantly on. They they don't get warm for the little amount of use that I use them for. But yeah, so there we go. There's an overview of my two compressors I use for filling. If you have any questions, feel free to comment. And uh, hope to have some more shooting videos out. Hopefully tomorrow if the weather cooperates. Uh, probably shooting at the ice again at around 500 PSI and also at the laptop. So stay tuned. Thanks.